Hello dear students, hope all of you are in good health. In this uh, video lecture, we are going to deliberate uh, upon some of the important fields that deal with human cultural studies. Every student of history must be acquainted with these terms that we take up here in this video lecture. The first one that we are going to deal with is what is history. The word history is derived from the Greek word historia, which means inquiry. So history in essence is a branch of knowledge that seeks information by asking questions, research and investigation. Herodotus, the Greek historian, is considered as father of history. He wrote a book, The Histories, which is a detailed record on the origins of Greco-Persian wars. History in simpler terms may be defined as the study of human past or as a branch of knowledge dealing with the past events. Various scholars have defined history variously. As for example, we may take some of the important definitions of the history here. Uh, the first one that we take is that of the Thomas Carlyle. He said of history that world history is the biography of great men. Professor Renard defined it as history is the memories of societies. Professor Will Durant says of history as history is the narrative of what civilized men have thought or done in the past time. H. Carr in What is History defined history as history is an unending dialogue between past and present. Dr. Radhakrishnan says of history, history is the memory of a nation or a race. J.L. Nehru defined history as history is the story of man's struggle through the, uh, through the ages against nature and the elements, against wild beast and jungle, and some of his own kind who have tried to keep him down and exploit him for their own benefit. Keeping all these definitions in view and what is said of the history by other scholars as well, we may define history in simpler terms as study of past events and problems, particularly in human affairs, as mentioned in written records, and our attempts to understand them. The important question that we have is why do we study history? Or why is the study of past so important? Should we be studying it at all? We know that individual human lives are based on memories and experience. Our actions are defined by memories we have or experiences we have occurred. For example, you won't jump into fire, touch a hard object, come in front of a moving ve vehicle and so on. Because at some point of time you have seen, heard or experienced the consequences of doing this. Similarly, history provides us the experience of great men, nations and societies, as such advises us what to do and what not to do. Thus, history serves as our collective memory, collective experience, by which we can make this world a better place to live in. History by highlighting the achievements and mistakes committed by humans in the past plays a vital role in shaping our present and future. This is the purpose of studying history, or the events of the past. It is imperative for all of us to be acquainted with what humans who have visited this planet before us have done. We must be familiar with the good and bad they have done and the consequences it had for the human race. This knowledge must be then utilized to abstain from doing all that had bad consequences and must promote only those actions that have brought greater good to the humanity. History thus is a system of knowledge where we learn by the experience of others. Another important field of knowledge that deals with the human past is called as prehistory. All of you are familiar with the word history but may not be equally familiar with the word history. In the previous slide, we have seen that history is the study of human past based on written records that humans of gone ages have left behind. But there has been a considerable portion of human existence on this planet for which we have no written records at all. 
as writing was not known to the man from the earliest times but was invented later for example the earliest writing forms that are known are from mesopotamia what is present day iraq and egyptian civilization which existed in 3000 bc but human existence on this planet is much older than that that very phase of human existence on this planet for which we have no written records is called as prehistory paleolithic cultures what is also called as old stone age mesolithic cultures what is also called as middle stone age neolithic cultures what is also called as new stone age and some of the chalcolithic cultures fall in this category as they knew no writing and have not left any written records behind now the important question that comes to the fore is how do we study prehistory or prehistoric period when we have no written records no documents available for this very period what comes to our rescue here is called as archaeology archaeology is the study of human past with the help of material remains that are excavated the material remains left by prehistoric people are recovered by means of excavations then analyzed and studied since there is absence of written records for prehistoric period archaeology that is excavation and collection of the material remains or what is left by these humans behind is the only source for studying prehistory that is how we gather information about paleolithic cultures the old stone age cultures mesolithic cultures the middle stone age cultures neolithic cultures uh, the new stone age cultures and the chalcolithic cultures another important type of historical studies is called as protohistory protohistory is that very phase of human existence on this planet for which we have written records note the point for which we have written records but they have not been deciphered yet that means people of the proto historic period knew writing but what they wrote or the language script they used is not existent anymore written records are available but they are of no use as we do not know what is written in them Harappan civilization or what is also called as Indus Valley civilization that existed in Indian subcontinent from 2600 BC to 1900 BC is the best example of protohistory or protohistoric period Harappans have left behind some documents for us that we cannot read them as the script used by them are in those documents is not known today as a prehistory for studying proto history we again rely on archaeology these are uh, what we show in this slide uh, they are some of the images of the harappan seals the seals were made mainly of a particular type of stone these seals that you see they are made up of a particular type of stone historians and archaeologists are of the opinion that they were used in trade these stones they, these seals sorry what is important about these seals is the fact that they are the carriers of the harappan script as you can see Uh, them uh, as you can clearly see that each seal has a picture and some characters inscribed on it but the message conveyed by these pictographs is not understood as this system of writing does not exist anymore the script that we see in these seals has been called as pictographic script pictographic script is that very script where pictures represent words that is each picture conveys a message or has a meaning or represents something since this kind of pictographic script that was used by harappan civilization is not used in india anymore we are not able to understand the message they convey yeah in this slide uh, we will sum up the brief discussion that we had in the previous slides uh, now it becomes clear that human cultural studies are past happening studying the past events past happenings uh, include three important fields actually they are prehistory protohistory and history 
prehistory is that very phase of human existence for which we have no written records at all this period includes the paleolithic cultures the mesolithic cultures the neolithic cultures and the chalcolithic cultures since no written records exist for this very period study is based on archaeology that is excavating the material remains that have been left behind by the prehistoric people the timeline of this very period is from the beginning when man first set foot on this earth till 3000 bc when first writing systems appear proto history for this very period we have uh, written records but the problem is that those written records cannot be read we cannot read th those written records the best example of proto history is the harappan civilization since we have written records but they cannot be read that means they are of no use to us study of such culture is again based on archaeology then we have history Uh, written records are available and can be read that is what is called as history proper in india proper historic period starts from the vedic age when we have the first texts available in the form of the four vedas and those texts can be read today thank you for watching